Shalom. I remember the night when you first gave the speech. It was one of the best speeches I'd heard because something about a remarkably beautiful metaphor of kind of being too focused in one area and you live your life one emotional tone of blue and learning to become a rainbow and that life is like a rainbow of emotions. It was presented like incredibly well and it's a really beautiful metaphor. Um, in addition to kind of a lot of wonderful language, you know, things like you know, you killed off any part of you that didn't fit that role. And, like there's a lot of really beautiful language. Um, I'll focus more on suggestions because it's a competition speech and that's what's more useful. Um, a, a fairly straightforward one. You talk about how you're only one color and you're just living as blue and then you move through the speech and you learn to live and embrace more of your colors, I, that needs to be almost bigger in the speech. Like when you're saying, oh, I'm just one color, it doesn't feel like you're hitting a low. It doesn't feel like you're hitting pain or struggle that you have to get out of. I don't feel as much of the urgency to give it that as much emotional punch. And that's more in voice and in language and in body. Just, I think, just making it a little bigger and then making the contrast when you're kind of saying you're embracing the colors to with vocal variety, with your emotion, with your expressions, giving that contrast of going from a low to an emotional high and giving that a bigger punch. Um, the one, suge one suggestion that's a little bit controversial, take as you, you know, we can talk more about it after because I'll have to go through it quick. Before in your per earlier version of the speech, this metaphor like kind of exploded like a firework, this incredible, beautiful firework of I'm only blue and embracing the whole rainbow. You kind of put color through the whole speech. It's in the intro, it's in the acting class, it's in the next thing. Um, I almost want to kind of save it for in the middle a little bit where you kind of see, oh, this phantom and her life and her emotions in it and the beauty of it that touches you is actually that it's this thing that you don't live. And like just kind of revealing the rainbow metaphor more there. Um, again, it's, it's, I love that how before it just like emerged and exploded. Here you were right in the colors right at the beginning. Um, but again, wonderful conclusions, entering the world of color, you ended it on a great note. Um, quick thing, the last thing, when you start in the beginning and you sing the Phantom of the Opera, it didn't sound like the melody that I, as not an opera fan, recognized. Like, I recognized that. The Phantom of the Opera. Whoa! Right? But in the beginning, it wasn't that melody. It was kind of a uh, different one. So. All right. Come on. <laughs> General evaluator.